guys, it's Hannah and I'm here today with the TBR video for you. So, Dewey's 24 hour readathon is coming up this Saturday and I am so excited. I've been like waiting for this all month. I'm so excited because I actually requested this day off so I could stay up all night and really try my hardest at this readathon and I'm so, so excited that I get to fully participate in it. So if you guys aren't following me on Twitter and stuff, I will be participating in reading sprints. So go ahead and follow, find me on Twitter and come talk to me during the readathon because I think that would be so much fun and I plan on vlogging the entire experience so I'm really excited for that. But let's get into the books that I want to read during my readathon. So first things first, I want some variety so I don't expect myself to read all of these but I have been flop flip flopping what I want to read during this readathon so I wanted to give myself some options. So a definite must during readathons especially if I'm doing a 24 hour readathon. I need some graphic novels. I might pick up more than just these two but these two I definitely want to get to. I rented these from my local library and they are Alex and Ada volumes 2 and volumes 3. I really enjoyed the first one. It like had me, I flew through it. So I think these are going to be great for when I am like starting to fall asleep and I need something fast to get me going. So I'm definitely going to be reading these during my readathon. Next up is a must for me audiobook. When I am antsy from sitting down too much and I need to get up and move, I want an audiobook and I rented an audiobook from my library so I've already started it and I'm kind of hoping that I'm not going to finish this audiobook before Saturday happens but if it does I might be hopefully picking up the second one if it's available but I am in the middle of listening to The Lost Hero by Rick Riordan. I'm like flying through these because I'm listening to it on audiobook and it's like really easy to listen to this book on 1.5 speed which is great so I'm already like 200 pages in right now at this moment and today is Tuesday so at this rate I might finish this book before the readathon happens and in that case hopefully the Son of Neptune will be available but if not I will find a different audiobook because I definitely need an audiobook for a 24 hour readathon. If you guys don't know, Dewey's 24 hour readathon, I'll leave a link to the website and everything. It's a really awesome thing that, that a lot of people are involved in and it's their 10th anniversary this year and there's good read pages and Twitter sprints and basically we all, like you can look up your start times and we all read at the exact same time which is really fun. I don't know if I'm going to necessarily participate in that way because I'm in Oregon so that start time is like 5 a.m. and I am not getting up at 5 a.m. and going to 5 a.m. the next day because I requested Saturday off. <laughs> so I'm just going to start midnight 12 a.m. and read for 24 hours that way. So the bulk of it I will be reading during the readathon but just won't be at the right time so oh well. Anyway back to the TBR. <laughs> I have two that I am debating on picking up. I don't know what I'm going to be in the mood for but I have this Savage Song by V.E. Schwab or Victoria Schwab, my bad. And this is her YA novel. This is about how people tell lies I think and then their lies turn into monsters like physical monsters that they see in real world and they kind of like they see their lies and they see their sins in like manifest so I think that's gonna be really cool and I wanted something kind of spooky for October and I'm hoping that this will like get my heart pumping enough that I won't want to put it down which is would be great for a uh, readathon. Also it doesn't look like it's too many pages Let's see, well, <laughs> it's 427, so I mean, it's a decent page book, it just doesn't look it. So, I might be picking up this one. If I don't like this one, I wanted to have a backup. My backup is The Raven Boys, my Maggie Stiefvater. It's just one of the, like, it's a thinner book, and I was looking through, and I wanted a thin book, and this is semi-thin, although I think it's still... Yeah, it's like 400-ish. Yeah, it's over 400 pages. I really suck at this whole peak, picking thin books, but this is an option for me. This sounds right up my alley. It's got like prep school boys and it's got kind of like a romance, but it's also got like a creepy vibe because this girl 
blue. Her grandmothers are clairvoyant, and I think she is also inheriting the clairvoyant gene in her family, and I, I want to go into this kind of blind. I read the back of it, and I, like, it interests me, but I don't want to know too much what the main plot line is, because I'm already, like, hooked. I, I'm a sucker for, like, prep school people, so I'm really excited for this one that I might be picking either one of these two up. I haven't quite decided. Let me know down below if you've read either one of these two and which one reads faster. That way it kind of helps me decide what I want to do. And then if I have struck out on both of these and I'm not feeling either one of these, I might pick up a favorite, like a reread, whatever I haven't re reread before. So maybe like I'll pick up the selection. No, I've already read the selection this year. I've read a lot of rereads. I might pick up maybe the Twilight. I don't think I've read the Twilight series in a while. Or I'll do like Fangirl. I love Fangirl and that'll be, I'll be able to fly through that. So I might pick up like an old reread contemporary. Oh, I almost forgot. I'll pop up a picture. So they were having a crazy sale on Eliza and Her Monsters and it was $1.99 on Kindle, I believe. So I went and picked up this one. So I might pick up that one if I need like a fun contemporary to read. So that is another contender if these two strike out. So I might pick up that one if I am feeling contemporary. Let me know down below if you guys are participating in Dewey's 24 hour readathon what your TBR is, and if you guys are going to actually read the 24 hours. I'm going to try my hardest, but I'm real excited for it. I'm going to stock up on, like, coffee and junk food and stuff, and I think it's going to be a fantastic time. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!